For the first time in his career, Track Phantom failed to hit the board in his last start in the Louisiana Derby, but prior to that was in great form, rattling off a number of impressive performances when racing on the front end for Hall of Famer Steve Asmussen, who of course is still looking for that coveted first Kentucky Derby victory. But it was a good winner for Track Phantom. He rattled off wins in the first two New Orleans Derby preps down at Fairgrounds, the Gunrunner, and then the LeCompte, and ran a solid second to Sierra Leone, who just went and got him in the Risen Star. But a couple of key questions. One, is there any chance Track Phantom can make a loose and lonely lead in the Derby? It does not look like it on paper. And two, as he uh, maybe peaked a little bit earlier than his crop and now they're catching up to him. He was really good this winter when maybe some of the best of the crop were on the sidelines preparing for the spring while Track Phantom was taking advantage of things. I'm not going to hold it against him overall, but I do think he's up against it here, needing a career best performance to be competitive at the wire in the Derby. Track Phantom may be useful at a big price underneath, but overall, a fade for me in this year's Kentucky Derby.